Looks like me. Yeah. It's the Andy show. Yeah. Well, who do you think he looks like, madam? Andy Devine. <laughs> who said John Wayne? I like that person. All right, listen. We have some very exciting things happening on Let's Make a Deal, and one of the things we've been having lately is having great stars visit our show and playing for somebody at home. And today, I'd like to introduce you to a lovely, great, talented lady, Miss Nanette Fabre. Yeah. Right over here. So that's you. That's you. That's you. Hi. How are you? Ned's so busy. Uh, are you through with uh, my sister Eileen? Have you, have you shoved her out of town? Wonderful town. Yeah. Yes, we just closed. Uh -huh. And now I'm getting ready to... Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I am now appearing in uh, uh, the Cirque Theater in Seattle. Very good. And thank you for coming down to our show and making pleasure. it all possible. I'm so glad to be here. I never believed when I would watch your show all these years that the people actually would show up like this. And they do. Here they are. <laughs> Those are wonderful people. And you know, they're looking at you saying, look, she dressed too. <laughs> I feel so square in my clothes. That's all right. As, as the show continues, things may happen. Right. You'll notice that in my, yes. in my little grubby fist, yes. I have four envelopes. Let me explain that in envelope number one, there is the name of somebody that you're playing for, and without any further ado, why don't we open it up and find out who in America you are playing for? Incidentally, how did you arrive at this again? No, we do it at random. No, I know how you did it, but no, I'm yeah. Tell well, we do it at random. We pick, we pick an area, for example, one of our TV stations. In this case, it was station WEWS TV in Cleveland, Ohio. Then we take their entire broadcast area, then take some phone books, and with people helping us, we don't do this. We have organized official people they select the name at random from the book do you think they would believe it if it was my niece who lives in cleveland well if your niece's name is mrs fred taylor no it isn't well <laughs> that's who it is it's mrs fred taylor of 4317 valley side cleveland ohio that's who you're playing for and that everything that you win goes to mrs taylor none of it goes to your house well, that's all right. I want Mrs. Taylor to win a lot. All right. Now, all you right. try very hard for it. Now, let me explain the other three envelopes, because uh, they contain nothing but cash. For me? That's right. For Mrs. Taylor. Oh, for Mrs. Taylor. All that's right. right. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is, now, you can keep the money inside these envelopes. You can spend them to do anything you want. But there's money, and you can't peek inside. You've got to play this honest, okay? All right. Of course. Now, You're no, right. There's no way to peek No either. way. <laughs> oh, we're way ahead of you. We've been doing this show for years. Yes. Now, do you want to keep the money in envelope number two, or would you like to buy something with it? What should I do? Well, wait a minute. You've got to show you what you're going to buy. Oh, it's, oh. It's the box down there. I'm going to buy that box? It's what do you think I should do? <laughs> Take the box. They say you should take the box. Would you hold on to these two envelopes? Yes, I will. And I'm going to show you how much money was in here if that you turned out. That's right, Mrs. Taylor. It's their fault. Right. There was a five hundred dollar bill in here. <laughs> and what have we got for Mrs. Taylor back there? You just got a pair of stuffed teddy bears. Mrs. Taylor must really love you right now. Oh, Mrs. Taylor, I'm sorry. But they're beautiful. Yeah, they're, try and make it easy on her, right? Yes. They're, they're beautiful, she says. Now, oh. now you know what that we have on this show, something called a zonk, because you just got a zonk from Mrs. Taylor. However, oh, you have two dear. other envelopes. We're going to take a look at what's two inside them. Two more chances. Oh. But not just yet. You sit yeah. down, take a rest. I'll oh, be with Mrs. you in just a few Taylor, moments. You'll love your teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wonder right now how she feels about it. But right now I turn over here and see if I can find a married couple. Let me see the names. Uh, broom, broom. All right, let's see the brooms over here. Both brooms. I want both brooms. I'm going to really sweep up a deal here. It says I'll pop a pill for a real big deal. Now, cut that out. All right. Oh, you're the pill. Oh, I see. Right. Now, Glandon. Is that right? Glandon? And I heard what you said. Day, Connie, yeah. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to let you trade for one of three keys that we have on this little board. Which one do you want? Just name the number of the key and I'll give it to you. Uh, two. She wants key number two. We take the key off and give it to you right now. <laughs> now I'm going to show you what goes with that key. If it's the right key, this is what you might take home in the next few moments. The Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Standard interior includes full foam seat and cut pile nylon carpet and color sheet instrument panel and steering wheel are distinguished by simulated wood borough accents. It sells for $4,262, but we would add lots of extras, including tax and license, to make it worth $5,930. As you can see, that's a key that's worth about $6,000 if it fits the door of that car. One of the three keys does fit. Maybe it's the one that you're holding. What we're going to do is we're going to go right down there and take a look and find out right after these words. Oh. 
We're standing right beside the car right now, right down on our floor here at Let's Make a Deal with Mr. and Mrs. Broom. That's Glandon and Connie Broom. They've selected one of three keys that we had on a board. If the key fits this lock and makes this button pop up, they're going to go home with a $5,900 automobile. If it doesn't make it pop up, they've got themselves a nice little key, a little souvenir. Let's make a deal. So, the question is, do you want to try it in here? But before you do, would you be interested in me offering you something for that key? Take a look and see what we're going to show you right behind this box. We wheel it out of the way, and there we have a beautiful new refrigerator and a matching freezer. Yes, a Gibson Market Master All Refrigerator with over 14 cubic feet of fresh food storage space. And this is the Gibson 15 cubic foot food freezer featuring slide-out basket and Gibson's exclusive frost clear system. Both from Gibson, one of the white consolidated industries. They sell for $1,049.90. And we filled the freezer with $50 worth of Encore frozen foods. Delicious two-pound frozen main dishes such as veal parmigiana, sliced beef and gravy, and charboiled Salisbury steaks. So the deal is valued at $1,099.90. That's what you can have for your key right now. But before you make up your mind, I'm going to take key number three that I have right here in my hand and see what that does. I put it in here and nothing happened. So that wasn't the key. That's a worthless key. We'll throw it away. There's key number one sitting on top here and key number two sitting in your hand. One of them opens that door. I offered you the refrigerator and the freezer, and you have made up your mind whether you want to trade your key away for that. But before you make up your mind, one more offer. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Take a look right over here. I'll add to my offer for your key what's behind the curtain, and it is a vacation by Jack. Yes, first class transportation for two on Pan American World Airways with more 747s from the U.S. to more places in the world than any other airline. Pan Am, the world's most experienced airline. And you will be jetting to lovely Hawaii. A 10 day vacation at the fabulous Malakea Beach Hotel. You'll enjoy the Lux Beach front room. Private and I, golf, swimming pool, lovely white sand beach, gourmet cuisine, all in the understated luxury rock resorts, Mauna Kea Beach Hotel. This vacation deal is worth $2,094. Well, you said you always wanted to go, and of course there's no finer place in the world to go than the Mauna Kea Beach Hotel. The total offer of the vacation and the refrigerator and the freezer is now $3,193 for that key. Now, do you want to sell the key back to me for all the things we said, or do you want to try it in here hoping that you've got the car? Oh! They're going to turn down the $3,193, and they're going to go for the car. Are you ready? You're not ready? Now, you walk right over and put the key in the door. Stand back so the camera can see you do it. No, Glendon, get out of here, will you? She puts the key in, and would you know it's upside down? Now she puts it in, and it opens! <laughs> and courageous decision. They put, you want to get in? Sure, here, get in. There you go. That's all right, get those two pills. Luca, you'll never get inside here. There's a car with $5,900. Congratulations. Landon, you can't even get to that broken arm. Congratulations, Donna. Well, let's make a deal. All right. Boy, I tell you, when you... She said to me, she said, I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. And you saw that vacation, and she was just flipping over the vacation, and the refrigerator and the freezer, and Glandon said, well, let's go. And she said, no, we're going all the way for the car. Listen, you have two more envelopes. Oh, I'm going to do some more? That's right. You know, envelope number two that we opened up for you had $500. Yes. We traded away for two stuffy bears, at which time your player back in Cleveland, Ohio. What was her name? Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Fred, Taylor. Mrs. Taylor. Mrs. Taylor. She was probably saying, no, no, Nanette. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but now you have envelope number three. Yes. And you'll notice that Carol Merrill is standing in front of a curtain. Oh, dear. Now, would you like to buy the curtain for the money in your envelope? Think oh. about it. Don't tell me what you're going to do. Don't look inside the envelope, and I'll be back in just a moment. Yes, yes, Nanette. <laughs> yeah, tell me more. Yeah, I, I, all I can tell you about envelope number three Yes. is that there's money inside and you saw $500 on the last one. No way to cheat on this one either. No uh, way. So do you want to keep the money this time or do you want to buy what's behind the curtain where Carol is standing right now for Mrs. Taylor? It, it seems to be evenly divided with their decision between the curtain and the end. But I, did, I think the law of averages have to be in my favor to, to buy the curtain this time. I'm going to buy the curtain. You're going to buy the curtain and I'm going to show you. You saw 500 last time. And this time, you traded away from Mrs. Taylor a $50 bill. Oh! And take a look at the curtain and see what you got for her. Beautiful. 
Arnold on chair and stereo system. From Barker Lounger, the Sir Charles, the ultimate chair that also reclines. Luxuriously comfortable, elegantly upholstered in genuine leather. It sells for $800. And for listening while lounging, from Radio Shack, outstanding stereo sound on FM, records, and cassette tapes with this complete realistic wireless remote control music system. From Radio Shack, a Tandy Corporation company, the system retails for $1,085.68. So the total value of this deal is $1,885.68. Oh, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Now you're up to $1,885 and two stuffed bears for Mrs. Taylor. And you have one more envelope, and we'll get to that. But first, I'm going to make a deal with this fellow right over here. I'll be right back, Ned. This fellow over here wanted and says, and, oh, I like this. Just, I'm armed for a deal. Now, Norby, I'm going to let you get into a deal right now with uh, little Bo Peep right over here. And her name is Ginny LaRose. Now, Ginny, I want you to come right over here, stand beside Norby, make room for Jay as he comes down the aisle. And I'm going to let you listen, first of all, to Jay describe three items, and then you'll uh, have a chance to win $1,000 in this deal in cash. Listen to Jay, first of all. Okay, here is an 18-ounce container of liquid car wax, turtle wax, new improved hard shell formula, cleans, polishes, protects in one easy operation, turtle wax, the world's largest selling liquid car wax. And next, the 12-ounce container of Prestone High Temp Brake Fluid, scientifically formulated for drum or disc brake systems. High boiling point gives extra margin of safety at all speeds. And finally, a 16-ounce size of Wella Balsam Conditioner, the original balsam for beautiful hair, makes hair strong, shiny, and easy to comb. Wella Balsam, you can tell the difference. I certainly can. I hope so. Now, you may pick one of those items for your very own self. Norby, which one do you want? I'll take the brake fluid. You're going to get the brake fluid. Hold on to this. Don't open it up. Which one do you want, Jenny? Turtle wax. You want the turtle wax? I'm going to give that to you. And now each of you is holding an item, right? If you are holding the most expensive of the three items, then you're going to get $1,000 in cash. Do you think you're holding the most expensive of the three items? No. Oh, in that case, you might want to trade it away. If you want to trade away, then you can have what's in the box where Carol's standing. Trade. He says trade. First of all, I'm going to show you that the brake fluid that you traded away has a little tab on it, so we can open it up now and show you that it sold for two dollars and eighty cents. Behind the box, for no brief partner, we have a in the kitchen, and he seems to be happy about that. First for quick cooking, Magic Chef's new microwave oven. 650 watts of power output for faster economical microwave cooking. Four defrost settings to defrost foods as precisely as you cook them. It retails for $449. And then for cleaning up around the kitchen, this KitchenAid superb a portable dishwasher converts to a built-in when you remodel. Then KitchenAid's trash compactor with charcoal air filter. The neatest way yet to unclutter your kitchen. Together, they retail for $794.90. So the total value of the deal is $1,243.90. Very well. Thank you very much, uh, Norby. Thank you very much, Norby. Okay, you may be seated. Ginny LaRose. Now, we don't know whether he had the most expensive item and traded it away. Do you think, perhaps, that the car wax you have is more than $2.80? In which case, I'll give you $1,000 if you're right. But I'll tell you, I'll make it easier for you. I'll let you have the one that still hasn't been chosen, the conditioner. Now, you have two chances to be the most expensive of all three items. Did I do that because I wanted your chances to be better, or did I do that because this one is the most expensive and it wouldn't make any difference? Think about that for a minute, little Bopi. And before you count your sheep, I want you to think about hanging on to those and if you're right, you have the most expensive, you get $1,000. If you don't think so, there's a curtain where Carol Merrill's standing. It says curtain number two. You can have what's back there. What do you want to do, Jen? Keep. You think that you have the most expensive of the items, right? We'll take a look and see what you turn down behind door number two. There's something big back there. I know that. And that is the world's largest paperweight. Now, that is a stuffed polar bear, and I just want to tell anybody who thought that maybe we went out yesterday and, and got that old fella, that's a stuffed bear that is so old, it's from an old movie prop house, and we borrowed it from them. It made its last movie appearance, I think, with Rudolph Valentino about 53 years ago. And uh, it's still uh, hanging up pretty good, the old stuffed bear, the old paperweight, as we call it. But you didn't go for that. Now the question is, did you have the most expensive item? Did you think it was the car wax? Yes. You thought it was the car wax, and the car wax sold for two eighty nine, which would make it a little bit more than this one, but was it the most expensive? Well, it makes no difference because now you already have one, don't you, right? And this one was two ninety eight. And you got the one that is most expensive. You're going to get one thousand dollars in cash, and here's what a thousand dollar bill looks like. And it goes to Ginny the Rose, Little Bo Peep, and you go out and buy some seeds. Thank you, Ginny. Thank you, Norman, for making that deal. Now, we come back. We come back now to Nanette Fabre, who picked up $1,885 worth of merchandise for Mrs. Taylor of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Just... Uh, just a few minutes ago, also two stuffed bears, not as, not as big as the one we just saw. No, no, no. But you're doing rather well for her. No, I'll tell you what all that you do. Yes. I'll give you 500 bucks cash right now for that envelope. 
And, and then, I could make up the 500 that I lost before. That's right. I'll give you $500 in cold cash right now. Forget what's in here. I'll take this one. I'll give it to that lady right down there. Oh. And then you'll have $500 more for Mrs. Now, let Taylor. Let me get this straight. You said that I could give this to the lady and you would give me $500 for Mrs. Taylor. Right. It's thick. <laughs> it smells like money. It smells like money. <laughs> Well, I want you to have something. You yes. want the 500 you give her the envelope? Yes, yes. Now, I'll be with you in just a moment, honey. Now, you want to take your $500, and I'll tell you what you, what you can do. Yes. Uh, you're, not going to be able to go for, you're not going to be able to go for that curtain just now. No. You, you're going to sit and think about what you might do oh, for Mrs. Geez. Taylor, because I'm going to make you sit with a $2,366 and think about whether you would take Mrs. Taylor into the big deal of the night coming up in just a few moments. You think about that as I talk to Susan Oliver for just a moment. Susan, she gave you the chance now, having given away the envelope, to go for the curtain number one. You have either five or five thousand there. Now, do you want to go for that curtain? Susan? It's Susan, I'm choosing. For Sharon, I'm Karen. You want the curtain? Now I'm going to show you what you traded away. Nanette, you had a chance at it. Susan had a chance at it. In here, five dollars. And take a look and see what we have behind the curtain. Susan, you get yourself furniture for entertaining, and it's yours. Yes, it's a game room from Chromecraft Arena, featuring the unique table with three uses, dining, card playing, or bumper pool, plus the Luau Refreshment Center. It sells for $1,105, and then for lighting up, indoors or out, smart his and hers, Florentine Zippo lighters, regular or slim, Zippos will always work, or Zippo will fix them free. Zippo, Bradford, Pennsylvania, the pair sells for $15.50, then to add a little color to your life, we also have a big color television. From General Electric Performance Television, a 25-inch diagonal color TV with contemporary chrome roll-around stand featuring 100% solid-state modular chassis and GE's one-touch color system. It retails for $639.90, so your whole deal is worth $1,760.40. A very good deal for Susan Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Now... So you made her happy, but you added $500 onto your earnings, and you have twenty-three sixty-six. dollars Now listen to what's going to happen. Yes. It's time for our big deal of the night. And the big deal of the show is worth $11,640. Oh, they think. The big deal is either behind, you know, one, two, or three. We have three doors. Behind the other two doors, not so good. Well, oh. not bad, but not as good as 11000 right? You think about that for just a moment, because... The first choice for one of going for a door will go to the brooms who have a car worth almost $6,000. Do you want to trade your car in? No! They're going to hang on to their car. They turned me down. Now, you have $2,385 in cash and merchandise for Mrs. Fred Taylor of Cleveland, who's watching us on WEWS right now. Do you want to risk that and go for one of the three doors? for one of the curtains. She's going to go for one of them. All right. Mrs. Taylor is sitting back there in Cleveland with her fingers crossed, too. And Susan Oliver has the Game 7 TV worth $1,760. She says yes. And these two folks are going for the big deal in just a minute from now. All right. Now, the big deal is worth $11,640. It could be behind door number one or door number two or door number three. Nanette, I think things worked out that you get first choice and you're going to make a selection right now for Mrs. Fred Taylor of Cleveland, Ohio, and whatever you do goes to her. This is the moment. Oh, dear. Well, there, all the lights are working except on three, so I think... No, I'm no, gonna... three's working, too. No, but there's one little tiny light out. One bulb burned out? And it, it flashed very bright for one moment, like a star burst, and then it went out right there in the corner, so I'm going to take number three. Well, that's the first time I heard something like that. I heard him say on the show, I got three children. You, they come on my show, they say, I got three kids, so I'm going to take door number one. <laughs> they do things like that. Oh, I see. Now she found a little light that burned out. All right, you took uh, three, and which one do you want, Susan? Why? Door number one. And Annette, you took door number three for Mrs. Taylor. You trade in two hundred and thirty. Let me see, two thousand three hundred thirty-nine dollars, and you're going to get some delicious candies for her. Yes, twenty-five dollars of the delicious crack candies. One is sure to please your family: caramels, fudgies, toffee, peanut brittle, and butter mints from Kraft. Now that's not the only sweet part of this deal. Look at the rest for Mrs. Taylor. An exciting new. Chevrolet 
sensible, sporty, compact offers a radio tuned suspension package with steel belted radio ply tires for responsive handling and a smooth ride. And it sells for $3,553.05, but we're adding extras including air conditioning, tax, and license to make it all worth $5,238.31. So, total value of your deal for Mrs. Taylor, $5,263.31. What a happy lady she's going to be, and you made it possible. Congratulations to you. And if you think Mrs. Taylor is happy, keep your eye on Susan Oliver. She just got the big deal tonight. And here it is behind door number one. Let's find out what he got for Susan. We'll start out with luggage. Watch out, and then you can get killed around here. Ah, <laughs> from the Ventura Collection, luggage in the soft manner to enhance your image with digital locks and scrubbable Dura vinyl coverings. If it's Ventura, you're in the best company. The three pieces sell for $210, and then $50 worth of stationery. From Postal Instant Press, Pip, with locations coast to coast in Hawaii and Canada. For quality printing, while you wait, just say, Pip it. You have an opportunity to use that luggage and stationery right away because you're going on an exciting cruise. 21 days of gourmet dining, dancing, and fun aboard a luxurious Prudential Leisure Liner of United States Registry through the Panama Canal, the Caribbean, and South America. And we want you to take this cruise, and you're going to go to such great places as, uh, well, down South America, you go to Rio de Janeiro, and Copacabana, and the Ipanema. Are you the girl from Ipanema? Yes. And to enjoy all that cruise, here is a check for you in the amount of $4,840 in cash. So the total value is 11640 Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful cruise and vacation. Susan Oliver. And to Nanette Fabre, our beautiful guest on today's show. Thank you so much. It was so wonderful. It worked out great. I could have bombed out in Cleveland and for Mrs. Taylor, but it didn't. Now you can go to Cleveland. Oh. And she'll wait for you, and she'll be a very happy lady. Thank you very much. A nice big hand for our guest, Annette Fabre. Happy Susan Oliver. And just before I go off the air, I'm going to offer you $100 for a hard-boiled egg. Yeah, I'll offer you $100 for a hard-boiled egg. Or you $100 for a hard-boiled egg. See, she's got the egg. You it. You've got the egg. Now you show me another one. I'll give you two hundred dollars. Oh, just one egg. Well, that's just one hundred dollars. That's the way it goes. All right, a hundred dollars for you. Now, no, I don't want the egg, but show me any chocolate at all. I'll give you two hundred dollars. Anything made of chocolate. Bill Ross doesn't have chocolate. Do you have a recipe over here? Is that your wife? Do you have a recipe, Mrs. Ross? Mrs. Ross doesn't have a recipe. All right. Are you married, Carol? Oh well, I, that, then I can't play that game with you, right? All right. I'll tell you what. Do you have? Let's make a deal. Is a step ahead. Show me the I'll give you two hundred dollars. When you hand me the driver's license, if you can tell me the serial number on that driver's license. 500, you give her the offer.